Well, hey, 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 what is going on everybody and welcome. Uh, so today, this is another PS4 tutorial that I'm throwing out there for you guys. Uh, so uh, what I'll be focusing in on today, guys, is PS1 ISOs and how you can take those ISOs and convert them over into an installable PS4 package file. So that way you can play PS1 games on your jailbroken PS4. So without further ado, guys, let's Go ahead, jump over to the uh, computer here. Waste no more time, get started. It's not hard to do whatsoever, guys. It shouldn't take long at all. So let's just go ahead, let's do it. All right. Okay, guys, uh, so uh, let me explain what you're gonna need here. Uh, first of all, what you're definitely gonna need is the program that's gonna convert your ISOs over into a uh, package file. You're definitely going to need that. Um, this right here, guys, is ISO Buster. You're sometimes going to need this. Uh, sometimes you'll you'll download a game and it has multiple bin files. And uh, Fantastic Night Dreams. This is one that I'm going to do here. Of course, this one only has one bin file and one Q file, which is fine. That's what you need. Um, it has to be Q and bin format. It can't be ISO format. It has to be Q and Ben. All right. Uh, this is mine plus. As you can see, it has two Ben files. Okay, so I'm, I'm finished. I'm going to be showing you here in a little while how you can uh, convert this over into, uh, you know, combining these two Ben files into one Ben file. That way you have one Q and one Ben. Okay. So let me show you where you're going to grab this up, guys. Uh, so right here, this is a mega site. Just come over here guys and uh, tap this nice green download tab here and uh, you're all good. Okay. Uh, as for the ISO Buster, you can just pretty much Google it. That's what I did here guys and you can download it here. It's, it's free. It's nothing, nothing to it. Alright. And if you want pictures for your games guys, if you want pictures, um, just Google your pictures and you uh, they have to be in PNG format. They can't be JPG. So this is the uh, site that I go to and I just uh, I upload my my JPG picture and then I download it once it uh, converts it over into a P PNG file. Okay, simple as that. These links will be in the description. Don't worry about it, guys. All right, so let's get started. All right, so. What we're going to first do, I'm doing two games here, guys. Uh, I'm going to be concentrating on this one right here. I'm going to be showing you this one. I'm not going to be showing you this one. I'm doing this off camera, I guess you could say. <laughs> but this is the one I'd be doing. Uh, I'm going to show you this one because it has multiple bin files. I want to go the, through the whole entire process, right? Okay. So, let's do this. All right. So, we extracted our game. We have two bin files here. What we want to do is you want to open up ISO Buster uh, once you install it. I've got it right here. So uh, what I want to go ahead and do also, I want, to, I want to go ahead and copy the name of this here. Copy the name of the game. Remind me later. No. Go up here to File. Open your image up, guys, in, in your program here. Uh, Here's your game here. Just go, just find your game in your folder and click on the Q file and open it up. Okay. What you want to do, go up here to where it says CD or Maze. I don't think it's, there's a DVD. There might, okay, that's might be PS2. But anyway, go up here, click on CD or DVD, whatever it is, and then right click on it. That'll bring down these tabs here. Go down to Extract CD Image. What you can do is go over, go down to where it says raw bin ISO. You want to click on that, guys. Come down here. Make sure you click bin. Make sure it says save as type bin. Now you can just paste the name of your game here, guys. Uh, wherever you want to save those the Q and bin to, you just click wherever you want to save to and hit save. And as you go about doing this thing, just let it carry out that and uh, you'll be all good. 
And then it will ask you where you want to save your Q file. I just hit save. Same place here. Okay. So there we go, guys. We got one bin file now and one Q file here. Let's put them right here. Okay. So now, <clears throat> here's my pictures here, guys. I got one from my uh, Desimon uh, Plus right here and my Cotton game, Fantastic Night. Was it Fantastic Night Dream? And I got a background image here. So let's go ahead and open up our program here. So here's that simple program. It's very simple, guys. Uh, very simple. Um, this is Japanese. Uh, just remember that. This is Japanese. So what we're going to do, we're going to select our game. We'll go to the desktop here. Go all the way down to our bin file. Open it up. Go here, and this is like USA, uh, the SCEA. Uh, SCE, I think it was Europe. And then the SCEI is Japan. So we're going to choose Japan there. And now we're going to go about uh, picking our image out here. Loading it up, which is this one right here. And then scroll down and we're gonna pick up pick our background image right here. Alright. Down here, guys, the MP title. This is very important. Um, I would just go through here and just uh, uh say say you create a package file with this number. A the next package file you create cannot be the same number, guys. What I do is you can just take the first number or whatever, hit it, just make it a nine or whatever. Uh, I've gotten to where, you know, I'm just making this right here. I'm making it a two this time. I've done mess with this thing so many times, guys. I just, I forgot what numbers I had. I know I didn't have a two at the end of it. So we just leave it at that. And just paste your game, game name. And whatever, whatever you put right here in this box, guys, for the title, it, that's the way it's going to show up on your PS2, okay? That's going to be the title of your game on your PS2. Uh, PS2. All right. Okay. PS2. PS4. That's what it's going to be. Uh, this is what's going to show up on your PS4 as the name of the game. Okay. We got that squared away. Let's go ahead and we'll create our package file right here, guys, onto the desktop. Just let her do, his, do her thing, and uh, we're all we're all good. Okay, there you go guys, it's finished. I'm gonna go ahead guys, and I'm gonna do this one, and just meet me over there at the PS4, okay? Because this one's just pretty much what I, what I, what I just did. I mean, it's got one bin, one Q right there, so we're all good with this one. So yeah, let's meet me over there at the PS4 guys. All right. Okay guys, so here we are. We are now on the PS4, we're ready to install. So we're gonna go up here to settings and we're gonna go up here to gold hen. Package installer. And there's my two games there. I'm just gonna go ahead, go ahead and to install all. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna take a minute guys. So I'm gonna skip this part over real quick. All right. Okay guys, so here we go. It is now done. So we're gonna back out of this real quick. And there's our two games right there, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll, we'll start with Fantastic Night Dreams, the cotton game. There's my background images that I picked out. Everybody should be pretty familiar with that sound there, guys. That's, that's cool. Bring back a lot of memories there. Okay, so on the controller, guys, you're not going to press the options button to start it. You're going to actually go to the uh, 
the sensor pad here and click on the sensor pad on the right side of it to start the game. So we're going to skip this part. Alright guys, as you can see it does, it works fine. No, no, no uh, problems whatsoever. It's got sound. There are some games that did not have sound uh, that I downloaded and some that didn't. So I mean... You just have to uh, download your games, guys, and try them out. That's all, you, that's all I can tell you. Okay, so we're going to get out of this game. Now let's go with uh, Desimon Plus. I love that sound. <laughs> I love that sound. That stupid dog outside. Okay, so once again, we're gonna hit our sensor pad on our controller here. Well, now I take that back. That was X button. Never mind. My bad. <laughs> I'm just gonna go up to this right here, guys. Now we hit the sensor pad. Okay, all right. As you can see, guys, this one works. And so, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out um, and maybe playing some of your favorite PS1 games installed as a package file on your PS4. So I'm gonna go over to my uh, PS1 uh, folder here. These are some of the games that I already did. This one right here, this probably my one of my favorite games on the PS1, Harmful Park. I love this shooter. Oh my god, I love this shooter to death. Blaster Master, this is I actually own this one. I ripped this one off my CD that I have. And you just went ahead and put it on my PS4. It's it's okay game. I mean the PS1 version of Blaster Master is it was kind of a letdown. Uh I'd rather play the NES version. But anyway, they got that one and I got Xenic X right here. So that's that. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to options here and edit the folder and select my game that I wanna add in there, which are these two. And we're good to go, guys. Got me, I'm gonna get me a nice little PS1 collection going on here. I got a, uh, a nice Saturn. Um, let's see, what was it? Yeah, I got my nice Saturn collection here going on and there's my PS2 collection right here going on. So, all right, guys, that's it. That is it. So I hope you guys uh, learned a little something. I hope this wasn't a waste of your time or whatever like that. So, but anyway, I'm going to end it here, guys. Y'all take it easy. Never stop gaming. And uh, I'll see you guys on the next uh, gameplay tutorial or whatever the heck I get myself into, guys. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. Thank you.